Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the national unemployment rate has climbed to 8.5 percent, which means more than 5 million jobs have been lost during this recession. That's hard for everyone to hear. But whether you're male or female may change how you react to such a situation. Last week's GDP report made it official that the only rival to this depression is the Great Depression. For families around the country, that's scary news. But for women in particular, who already make only about 77 cents to every dollar a man makes, that news can be downright frightening. Incomes for women-headed households are down by 3% since 2000. Unmarried women, those that are single, divorced, widowed, or separated, have an average household income almost $12,000 lower than unmarried men. One-fifth of women are without any health insurance. A half of women are in jobs without any retirement plans. Right now, in this economy, women are doing slightly better than their male counterparts. But that's because the industries hit the hardest, like construction and manufacturing, have been predominantly male businesses. All middle class families are in similar boats these days. If you look at the median income of working age households between 2000 and 2007, it's not that it didn't go up as fast as productivity. It's not even that it was flat or it just kept pace with inflation. It fell behind inflation and fell $2,000 in real terms, almost 4%. That is a failure. It may not be a classic uh, 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 market failure in some economic textbook sense, but it's a political and an economic and a social failure if middle class families can't get ahead. Tackling these economic issues, especially in terms of achieving equality for women, is what packed this room in Washington, D.C. Not just to talk about the economy in general terms, but specifically how it applies to women and what they need to do to come out of this recession ahead. Guess who is more likely, a husband or a father or a mother, to take money out of his or her 401k account to help an adult child? It's women, right? So being a mother is quite hazardous to your 401k account. This is just one example of how being female may change your financial future. For example, women are usually the caregivers which means many end up taking off large amounts of time from work to raise children. That leaves them with less financial benefits in their retirement fund at the end of their career. The caregiving is an, it's economic, but the economy, economists haven't studied it very much because it's not done for pay, and so it's an understudied part of the economy. But it's just as important because if women weren't raising children and taking care of families, there would be no labor force and there would be no economy at all. Department of Labor Secretary Hilda Solis says helping women in the job market is a priority in her administration. She believes women can benefit strongly from green collar jobs and those in the healthcare arena. We know that healthcare careers are growing. That's going to be where we're going to see a potential growth in the next couple of years. So we need to be there. We need to prepare for that and have more women studying math and science not just to be the technicians on the front end, that those jobs pay well. However, we want to also see CEOs. But she knows that the women in this country will prosper. So we're having to work more hours, having to actually balance more. And the challenge, I think, for us is to say, well, uh, women know how to multitask, just as our president does. <laughs> and I think that sometimes when we're faced with these challenges, that's when we are, we are tested the most and sometimes when our best product comes out. In a union, everyone in the contract is paid the same. That levels the financial playing field between men and women, making sure there's equality for everyone. It's another reason to support the Employee Free Choice Act. For more Machinist News, you can log on to GoIAM.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.